Yes, yes. Uh, do you? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. That's great. Okay. Can you can you try with the screen sharing? Yes, yes, of course, yes, of course, uh, I will try. I think one of the organizers is around. Uh, Are you seeing it? Yes, 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 it's fine. Very good. Okay, can you create control L or something to make it? Even larger? Uh, you can make it a bit a screen. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I think, uh, I think this, 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 this is the full screen. Yes, yes, no. make it full screen. Yeah. yeah, perhaps I will. I don't know. Right. You can make it full screen. Yes. Okay. And uh, I hope it will. Okay, this is uh, the, the as full screen as I as as I can. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, per perhaps I will I will still work on it. I, I say because I think I have an update I, uh, of the adopt and I'm not fully controlling it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now it's better to go like it like it was. It, in, in, one is always unprepared with those yes, yes. things. Okay, we always don't work. Mm. And perhaps I will try this now. Mm. I think Control L will work. Yeah. Uh, Control L. Show me. Are you around? Yeah, yeah, it's full screen now. We can see it. It's full screen. Okay, 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 okay. Show me you may be around in case any help is required. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm... I now. How, how long is it... the talk? Show, show me. How long okay. is the talk? The talk is for one hour. It's like the total session is one hour. We had uh, advised the speakers to keep it 45 minutes plus 15 minutes for discussion at the okay. end. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, that will be good because five. PM, you have another speaker, no? Lined up. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. So I will tell Marek. So Marek, you yeah, will have 45 minutes. I think you can now yes. formally yeah, I, introduce I will... Professor Zukowski. I remember. Yes. 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 So, so, uh, so I have the pleasure of introducing Professor Marek Zukowski in this afternoon session. And uh, he is, of course, a very well-known researcher on foundations of quantum mechanics and has been working for more than three decades in this area. And I have been personally much stimulated by his works over all these three decades. I have been following his papers with keen interest and have been learned a lot. And But unfortunately, I think, Marek, we didn't... We, have not yet the opportunity to have you in India so far. I was about. I was in Bhubaneswar in uh, 2010. Okay, okay. Then we must have you in Calcutta sometime. Okay. So, because we, yeah. I know so, Col uh, Calcutta only from the airport. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, and uh, he has made several outstanding contributions in this area, and today he will be speaking on on a very interesting topic about the non-locality of single photon, which I myself have been also looking at closely. So we'll be all very much interested to know what his latest thinking on this issue is. Okay, Marek, please continue. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be back in India, although virtually. And uh, as, uh, let's say, 45 minutes seems a lot of time, but really it is, 
very little. So I start, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored to be at this conference and I'm very happy. And uh, so let me start with my talk, okay? So I hope that you see my, 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 my first transparency yes. on which there should be the yes. main title, monocality of, 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 a, of single photon re-examined. And uh, my, let's say my co-authors are uh, in the usual uh, alphabetic list. And the first is uh, Tamogna Das from currently from Poland, but uh, in the past from India, and he's returning back to India. Uh, in few months, uh, Marcin Karczewski, uh, um, uh, from, uh, originally also from Poland, uh, Antonio Mandarino, Italy, Marcin Markiewicz, Poland, Bianca Wojnt, Service Poland, and me. And of course, we all are in the International Center for Theory of Quantum Technologies of, of, of the University of Gdańsk, which is a kind of recent um, organization that has been created uh, in 2018 and most of the people uh, which in the list excluding me they work in the center from 2019 or 2020 uh, and uh, and what is very important this center was uh, created by by this super grant by of the foundation for polish science so-called IRAP project, which is International, International Research, Research Agendas project uh, of Foundations of Polish Science. And, uh, and what is very important, really, a uh, foundation is ch uh, channeling money from uh, European Union uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, sorry, something appeared on, on my screen, which I and, and this, this always, uh, let's say, put, puts me off, off the track. Okay, so what, what is very important, all the money is uh, uh, from European Union. And, and the other thing is very important that the Foundation for Polish Science is a, is a, a totally autonomous, independent, uh, a very big uh, NGO, NGO organization, which has uh, 31 years by now. Okay, I hope that I, I will be somehow able to move to the, again, there is a trouble, so I will unfortunately move into a little bit smaller screen, but a, a more controllable. So, so this is the famous, uh, this is the famous uh, configuration of Tanwals and Colette in 1991, and that stirred a lot of controversy. And, uh, and so, and, but this will be the, 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 let's say the kind of our starting point for uh, our considerations. Okay. So the, 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 the idea is to have a 50, 50, uh, uh, 50, 50 beam splitter. Um, and you impinge on it a, a single photon, okay, which is marked here. I hope that you see it, okay. And the, in the other exit, you have you have just vacuum. There's nothing, okay. And then, of course, the photon. Let's say if you look from the photon uh, point of view, or let's say first quantization point of view, then the photon is in the superposition of the, of being in beam one and beam two. But if you look from the point of view of second quantization, then the modes b and b1 are excited by one photon okay and uh, so they are in a superposition of mode b being excited in one photon b2 mm, uh, by one photon and zero here or one photon here and and zero here okay and so th this is the second kind of quantum optical uh, view or second quantization okay in, in which we, we we do not have fixed numbers of, of particles and then Tanwalt and Colette, they, they uh, mm, suggested that uh, it would be interesting to seek whether there would be a violation of Bell's inequality in this configuration in which we have uh, at the end, at the measuring stations, as always, uh, measuring stations for Bob and, and Alice, a homodyne measurement and it turned out to be a very weak homodyne measurement. That means that the log in homodyne measurement, we are mixing 
a field which is called local oscillator, which is in a, it's usually assumed to be in a coherent state, and this is what we assume in our consideration with, with the signal beam. And then we observe what is happening at the, at, at, at the exit detectors. We either um, observe the uh, intensity or photon numbers or whatever. Okay. So there is a second field which is of the same frequency, and that's why it's, it's homodyning, which is mixed with the, the original field. And in the case of Alice's, Alice's uh, configuration, we have a uh, 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 similar situation. And of course, you can change phases, okay? So you either you can have a phase shifter here or here or, or in, in the other beam, it doesn't matter on which side is the phase shifter, or then you change the sign of the phase shift, okay? And you observe the interference. And uh, and the uh, and uh, Tan and Wolf's co collected in 1991, they claimed that, well, lovely thing, one photon uh, in this configuration in homodyne measurements uh, in, in the weak regime can reveal bell non classicality. Oh, I, I try to avoid the word bell non locality because I think it's a, it, it's a, a, a erroneous term. And, and if we have discussion, we can have, uh, we can discuss, discuss also that. Okay. And, uh, and uh, so I will show you that uh, this claim is not supported. In this experiment, uh, there is no, it's not a Bell experiment. Okay, also one, at the very end, if I have time, I will address another uh, experiment, which was the first Bell-like suggestion by Grangier, Potasek and Yerke in 88, so even earlier in which uh, uh, just you see this little box here so we re replace this box by this box and and simply we put here a output of, of down conversion crystal okay but the whole amp output which is a a, a, a two mode squeezed vacuum and then you have a, again homodyne measurements and they were also claiming that uh, that uh, this is a, a very nice bell experiment and we were not able one in 100 percent to show that it is again not true it's not a bell experiment you you can you can change it in the bell experiment but it's not this configuration is not not proper one uh, and uh, but in that case our verdict is not final and uh, if there are questions i will tell you uh, 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 what it what is the case okay uh, uh, so uh, uh, so the, uh, perhaps i should i should underline here that our thesis that i will present and i think i was talking about this uh, two years ago also at at, uh, um, at uh, th this conference and um, but we have made progress in in the meantime so i'm reporting let's say uh, additional progress we show an exact local hidden variable novel uh, model for the for this experiment and what is very important they had fixed fixed strength of the local oscillators so modulus of alpha was kept fixed and there was a 50 50 beam splitter and all the settings were uh, were controlled here by changing the relative phase shift of the local oscillator with the uh, signal beam okay so that's the Tan Walls call it uh, experiment in which which was uh, published in physical review as a non locality of a single photon uh, experiment. And uh, we have shown that first that there are, there are those violations of the Bell inequalities that they presented are phony, they are not real ones. And second, we let's say to be 100 per sure of our is that it, it is not a proper a bell test we have simply produced an exact model of all uh, all <clears throat> uh, all um, photon counts in the in the experiment okay and this is a very important thing because this <clears throat> experiment is very famous so if you look <coughs> into one of the 
famous uh, textbook uh, by Melbourne, Milburn and Wallace, 2007. <coughs> now, page 264, we have the quotation, some of the most striking features of non-locality in quantum mechanics may be demonstrated using phase synthesis measurements on the field produced by a single photon. These effects may not be explained classically using a particle or a wave or hidden variable theory in, in involving a local causality. Of course, we the our model shows that that this last claim is unfounded. There is also a, a book which is not so much known among physicists, but it, it's in a very respectable uh, publishing house, Springer, 2017, by Dennis van der Werf. The story of light science from early theories to, to uh, today's ex, uh, extraordinary applications, and uh, and uh, and and it covers uh, this uh, paper by the, the similar claims to the, the other ones, and also what is very important, it is based on a paper by some other authors which appeared in New Journal of Physics in 2008, and. Uh, and uh, which was uh, supposedly by a different way was showing uh, the that the town walls com led com uh, configuration is, is 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 a correct test of localism and in our comment which you can see uh, that's the number of our uh, comment from July. Uh, two years ago, we show that uh, the thesis of this paper is based on a mathematical mistake. And so everything is wrong. And of course, everything w w w which is here, which is here is wrong. So let us, let us uh, study the, the, uh, 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 let's say the, the, the case. So let me call it tan walls, call it phase. So uh, you, I hope that you remember that the, the beams, okay, the B, B1, B2 are beams of the, of the uh, exit beams of the 50-50 beams filter. So if there is one photon -like excitation, then there's such a stage uh, is emitted. The, the I factor is due to the reflection, but it's, uh, I, I, I dare to say, too exact a description. Uh, because you can remove this by, uh, let's say, phase correction. So it's an equal superposition of of, of photon being here or, or or being there. Okay, and then we can calculate all the quantum predictions, which are of course correlated counts in such a case, and, and counts of singles who are are, are uh, marginals of, of of those probabilities, of that probabilistic distribution, and so and and so. Uh, this is if we if we come back here let's say let us assume that in the, the uh, this detector we assume that it's photon number resolving and this one is a photon number resolving and this and this and this okay so we have a uh, uh, really if everything is photon number resolving then we have uh, let's say two numbers after each one of the uh, experiment collected by Alice and two numbers collected by uh, by both between the C detectors and the D detectors, okay? And that's how it looks like. And look at the very interesting thing, okay? And not everything is, uh, not all phenomena are inter, inter, uh, um, inter of interferometric kind, okay? By that, I mean uh, um, dependence on relative phase. I, I remember that I'm talking about the Tumwalls college con con configuration where the phases, relative phases were, were, were uh, the basis of changing the the the, the measurement setting, which is the usual thing in, in Bell's theorem. Okay, so here's the sinus. Okay, you can make it negative or or positive. Okay, and just look, you can have 100% interference if this uh, number is equal to this number and this non-zero. Then, of course, this is equal to them, and, and then when the sinus is min minus, you, you get zero. So, you, for some effects, you have a, a total interference, 100 uh, 
percent visibility uh, interference in the coincidence but for some events the, vis the visibility uh, goes down but still you observe interference but whenever k is equal to l that means l is in both detectors uh, 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 has the same number of photon clicks uh, 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 then there is nothing and also in the case of bob and, uh, and in, the, in the case there's no interference okay there is no, then, then there is then there is no no interference and uh, so mm, uh, so we we, we have uh, uh, specific classes of 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 uh, of uh, of experiments, perhaps I, I was a little bit too chaotic. So just remember that uh, I assume that this is zero, and this is not zero. Okay, and then still this interference term is zero. Okay, so so we have some some clicks on Bob's side, but they are and uh, are, 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 are accompanied with equal numbers of clicks on on. On Alice's side, and this shows reveals no interference. Okay, and so such probabilities are possible. Okay, and so uh, for the for, uh, model building, we fortunately Jan Oke Larsson or Lashun, as the Swedish say, is a good friend of mine, and uh, we collaborated on on building a model for Franzor interferometry. I, I, if any one of you knows Franzor type of interferometry it cannot be called bell interferometry because uh, Ertz, uh, uh, Lashun, uh, Kwiat and, and me we have found uh, an exact model for, um, for that type of interference and somehow we uh, and that was based uh, this model was based on, on still unpublished uh, paper by uh, Jan Oke uh, which was showing that uh, you can reproduce with uh, uh, efficiency of two over pi uh, under the the, the 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 assumption that your detectors, uh, let's say, do not detect all photons, but only a fraction of them, which is two over pi. So this is something like sixty-one percent that you can exactly reproduce the predictions for for singlet. Okay, and so this is this is the the, the Larson model, and 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 that the, the idea is very simple. Okay, simply uh, uh, the model is such that uh, uh, the the hidden variables sent to Alice, okay, are such that depending on 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 the that that uh, the her photon is sent a in a way with a map okay and uh, and then the, the, depending on the setting of of your uh, of of the of of the uh, local phase uh, let's uh, as you see there are all possible settings of, of the phase uh, certain results may appear and here is the uh, second photon which is which is uh, sent to Bob, and here also regions where result plus or minus one can happen. Okay, so and as you see, the, the interesting case is that in the case of Alice, there is a region where nothing happens, and this is very important because you cannot cannot uh, otherwise it's worked, uh, model doesn't work. And then those maps, when are arriving at the local stations they see the local faces and they are shifted with respect to, uh, with respect to each other okay and therefore just look this region of getting for example plus results for bob overlaps with plus results uh, for alice which is here only partially okay and this is this shift of this map with respect to this map is due to the local uh, 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 to, to, to the difference be, between the local local settings, and the the interesting thing is that this overlap region is, of course, you know that the integral over sinus is a cosinus, and other way around. 
it's 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 sinusoidal, and that's the that's the uh, the, the 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 crux of uh, idea of Larson model. Okay, and and then just look, we had a lot of events. But uh, th there was a, 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 a lot, uh, and but we grouped them into families of interference events and non-interference events. And even at the beginning, we, were, we had a little bit more complicated model, which was even a little bit better. But for for presentation, we noticed that it's enough to pair an interference situation that means then when k is not equal to l when, where r is not equal to s okay with a situation in which we have oh, sorry uh, uh, with us with a situation uh, in which we have uh, uh, vacuum counts on, 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 on one side. So for example, K is equal to zero, L is equal to, to zero. So this, uh, let's say, such a family where all those are not equal, so that we have interference, we pair with, a, with, a, a with, with events in which those two numbers, K and L, for example, are equal to, uh, equal to zero. This, this is no interference, but still we have some intensity when R is not equal to S. And also we have the symmetric situation, okay? And, and we build, uh, 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 for each such a pair, Larson model. It, we generalize it. We build a Larson model for each such a, such a pair. It, I, I, let's say it took us quite a lot, long time to derive it, something like, uh, I think, four weeks or something like that of thinking. So uh, uh, it would take at least four hours to um, explain all the subtleties of this model building, but it turns out that it covers the uh, tan walls of all predictions, all precise predictions of tan walls collect configuration up to um, alpha squared. This is the power of let us assume that alpha is is, is a positive number. Uh, this is the, the power of the local oscillator. So it covers this. This it gives a model for alpha which is less than 0 0.87, whereas town walls uh, call it uh, predictive variations uh, of local realism were for alpha less than this, which is 0 0.41. So as you see, we even covered more than 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 what they claimed. As I said one can build a bit more complicated model and to go with this alpha uh, uh, even higher but it's uh, too much work it, it was for us enough to show that the, the, the thesis of tunnels and colors is absolutely incorrect and uh, and and but we we wanted to uh, to uh, to improve on that to show that still you can let's say that you can try to do something about it and indeed it worked and uh, and and this is uh, by done by, by uh, so we will show you something that is uh, bell non locality or violation of local realism as i I prefer to, to say uh, for uh, that type configuration, but it turns out that a lot of things are prohibited. And uh, this will be my um, uh, basis of, of the second part of my talk. And what, what, what we do there is the following. First of all, and, and I, I hope that, it, that you find it quite interesting. We take the clouser hold inequalities, but as the events, registration events, which give, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the positive events A and positive events B, that means A happened, B happened, we take situations in which Alice measures one photon in her D detector and zero photon in the other detector. And the same for both. 
okay and 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 additionally uh, we take this as in this inequality as the primed uh, primed um, events and they are accompanying with the local oscillators and the unprimed events are simply in the case uh, 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 when we have local oscillators switched off and even the beam speed are removed. Okay, so we just register a, uh, register a photon. Perhaps I, I will come back here and, okay. So we, we, we remove this local state and remove this and then photon either hits here or hits here. Okay, so it's, it's a, as simple as that. Okay, and, uh, and, and you, uh, with this you can, you, uh, uh, you can find a violation but additionally, that's, that's a lovely thing. It's not allowed to have a 50-50 beam splitter. It's not allowed at all. You cannot find violation when the, uh, uh, there is a 50-50 beam splitter in, in such a case. And additionally, weak, weak homodyming because there is, the, 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 yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, th th that's a strong thesis. You 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 have to go out of the 50-50 uh, uh, mm, beam splitter, so it must be unbalanced uh, homodyning, and uh, and the and you can do it with the weak weak fields. And what is very important, as as I said, we have to have two settings for Bob. One with the local oscillator on beam splitter in. The other, no local oscillator, no beam speaker, and the same for Alice. And we are not fiddling with the face. The it's, uh, face does not uh, uh, does not cure anything. I'm moving into another trans set of transparencies uh, because I was trying um, till the very end to to improve my presentation. Okay, and uh, mm -hmm. okay, sorry, I I want somehow to get rid of those. Do do you see the the upper thing? Let's say or or only my transparency. Mm. Those those com commands in Polish concerning. Uh, uh, no, no. No, no. No. So, ah, okay. So that, then, 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 then uh, you you see it better than. Uh, uh, can you than, make it to which the, the entire screen is not? Yeah, we cannot see the entire screen. Actually. We can see. Yeah. yeah. You you cannot see it. Oh my god. Yes. No, no, no. Can you can you show me a little bit? Sorry, zoom out a little bit. Okay. Sorry, would I that that may be that may cause me cause me problem problems because I'm not a specialist in Zoom. And uh, okay, so you don't see the the, the new new screen? No, the entire no, 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 the no. full. Hmm. Maybe try and sharing can try. and share again. It's not full screen. I think you can try Control H. We'll zoom you out. Mm. That's really very bad. So I'm 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 completely lost where I am. Sorry. That's very strange I, because I'm I was in the same screen. <sighs> So there will be a little break. So what do you see now? Show me the, the we see the static. fourth slide. Yeah. Sorry? We see actually what? the fourth slide, non uh, Milburn and Wells 2007, page 264, that, that quotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so perhaps I will just kill this. Mm, you no. can stop sharing and start again. I think that might work. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that in the meantime, my Zoom has shrinked and I do not see the menu and I'm I'm not able to control it. That's my trouble. 
That's my trouble. Okay, I, that's the usual trouble for me. It's shrinked, and I'm not controlling it. I I do not have the menu. You can try all tab. That will move you around different tabs. Uh, so, oh, I, I understand now, I think. Yes, yes, it is fine. Uh, okay, so I'm very sorry. Of course, I lost a very precious uh, a few minutes. Okay, so now it will be working. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, let, now you see most probably the new screen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I I know that uh, let's say during the pandemic I was at certain moment that which was of of, of Zoom, but not anymore. Okay, so now let us move into into the uh, 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 the next set of uh, transparencies. So uh, in the next uh, we we uh, the next set of transparencies is uh, positive. That means we will I will show you how to have a bell test out of uh, all that. So first of all. We were very much inspired by the Hardy 1994 paper, which he, uh, which, uh, in which he showed that indeed you can have a violation of Bell inequality in the modified, modified um, time words call it uh, configuration. And what? But there were some very strange pe peculiarities about his uh, his proof. First of all, he was not using just a single photon after beam splitter, which is basically the state without the square root of p, okay? But also there was a contribution of a vacuum term, okay? And he showed a violation of Bell's, uh, uh, Bell's inequalities, let's say, really, it was this so-called par uh, Hardy paradox, version, but uh, I hope that some of you know that you can translate it into clouser horn inequalities. And uh, uh, and he showed that the, uh, you can show a violation of uh, local religions by such a state for p not equal to zero and not equal to one. Here's a mistake. Less than one. Okay, less than one. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's never just single photon. There must be a, 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 at least a, a, a epsilonic uh, contribution of, of 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 vacuum in his case, which is, which was a strange thing, and I we we, we thought uh, worth worth studying. And so again, uh, uh, and uh, this is inspired by by Hardy. We use the clauser horn inequality, and uh, I. I, with the same types of events, so we treat it as a positive event that Alice in her detector D found one photon and in the detector C one photon. Okay, and uh, uh, which was uh, uh, the basis of, of of Hardy paradox. Okay, and no, and no, notice that this is a kind of almost a secret that I, I'm, 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 I'm telling you because. Not, not. Let's say when you read the paper, you you think it's it's a kind of uh, just a side comment, but it's not a side comment. It is something very imp in, in, uh, important. Something very deep here is that the final events in this inequality are linked with one-dimensional projectors into a specific uh, Fox state. Okay, whereas in the case of Tan Walls Colette, they were using really intensities they were taking into account all the possible counts that's why we built the model for all values of uh, photon numbers that could be registered okay but now we limit ourselves only to the the to into events you know in, in, in just just one photon at each sta uh, station is is uh, is caught and also in the detector d and uh, so this is the hardy um, with with the difference that the that the uh, that the okay uh, okay now I now I see this what you see with the difference that there is a, a, a little bit new state okay 
there's a five shifted but which is element and then with with this configuration we just plugged in into the computer all possible settings so we we assume that the beam speeds are not 50 50 okay and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, we started all possible settings and uh, and results only under this condition there is that there is maximum one photon detected in detector D uh, on at, at, at this site and 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 then it turned out that the, so this is the curve of the violation of uh, equivalent to hardy hardy um, hardy statements ch uh, inequality in the hardy case and this is the overall uh, when you scan over over all possible settings okay so as you see it's much more uh, uh, robust and what is very interesting uh, this shows that really the hardest proof he from the point of view of pure mathematics it worked for any p less than one which was a strange thing, but uh, in a way appealing because anything that is strange in quantum mechanics is appealing. But uh, uh, look, that effectively already here, somewhere here, this uh, violation of localism in the Hardy case is un 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 undetectable. So really, you have to be, you have to have a, something like fifteen percent contribution of the vacuum into the the initial state in order to have a violation so really it was not a non-locality of a single photon but a superposition of a single photon with, with vacuum which is another misnomer completely uh, uh, wrongly used in, in this case in case of the experiments when it is applied uh, to the original tunnel collet experiment and what is also very interesting that in our case as you see Alpha square was never above one, so we worked all the time in the weak, uh, weak homodyning. Whereas in case of uh, hardest measurements, let's say the closer you were to uh, just single photon p equal to one, the 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 the, 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 the stronger was the the uh, uh, local stellar as a matter of fact at, at p uh, equal to one it, it goes to infinity but it's not marked okay and then we have found something and i want this is an open open problem i i think i started four minutes later so if you permit i will yes, still yes, please, please go ahead uh, uh, the, and and i show it as an open problem and i, I would like uh, especially let's say young people with bright minds to think and concentrate about on this we have found a lovely thing okay that's let's say obviously okay here is the the maximum okay that's the max violation because under different settings and 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 we have found fantastic characteristic of this of this max settings which by the way we knew we knew two years ago but we thought it's just accident okay it turned out that the uh, reflectivity of the of this uh, uh, beam splitter okay reflectivity that means okay the probability to uh, let's say that the photon is reflected here or the uh, uh, homodyne beam ends up uh, here okay the, the beam sphere is of course symmetric uh, uh, that that the optimality of violation is when reflectivity is equal to the pow power of the local oscillator and we don't understand it okay and uh, it works for all all hard states, whatever is P, when I, I, I remind you when P is equal to uh, uh, to zero, then it's only vacuum, and when there it's P equal to one, that that is the a full just single photon state. Okay, it always is the optimal setting, 
a very lovely uh, uh, formula. First, we had it an, as an approximation. Now, now we dare uh, to put an equation sign, despite the fact that we do not have a full proof, but we studied, let's say, the those cases which were analytically uh, analyzable and <laughs> simply all, let's say, trivial uh, maximization of functions were giving us this condition. And we don't understand it. And so I challenge anybody to understand it. Okay? And, and also, by the way, we have noticed that uh, uh, you know that the clouser horn inequality, I hope that I have it, it has its right hand side and left hand side. Okay, you, you, usually people think about its right hand side, but there is a left hand side which is under, uh, let's say, under normal two qubit situations, it's basically equivalent. But the hardest uh, paradox is really is linked with violation of the right hand side and it turns out that uh, left hand side can also be violated and what is very interesting it is violated for p equal to one so it turns out that you can <laughs> you can have this for but not not in the form of 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 of, of hard exactly but in our form where we were searching for the optimal parameters but you can have a configuration in which p equal to one gives you a value uh, for that means just a single photon no vacuum contribution entering the 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 the, the, the input bin splitter and so we abolished one more myth about this uh, about this experiment uh, that uh, there is no violation for p equal to okay and then we also studied some few technical things okay uh, uh, let's say because as you remember we have assumed that in the on situation okay we assume that in the d detector of the local observer there was one photon in the c there was zero and when we, then we asked, and 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 of course, as in the off situation, there is just one photon. Okay, <laughs> just one photon. Then uh, then we don't uh, uh, we we uh, no matter what will be the other discussed situation, we shall uh, have uh, we shall have uh, um, this. Uh, um, assumption that there is only one photon detected in the detector and there is no bin splitter, no local situator. Okay, one thing that I forgot to, uh, to tell you um, is that uh, uh, this uh, optimal curve is it is turned out to be to, for the situation when when the, those on and off, okay, the Hardian situation, on and off. Uh, uh, settings. So either there was a local oscillator and there was no local oscillator and no beam speeder. And uh, uh, and so we kept the off situations uh, identically, but we also studied, for example, situation, let's say, uh, perhaps I will choose this one, in which we uh, register four photons in the D detectors and zero photons in this detector uh, C, but in the on situation, so as you see, we can always have also uh, violations. Okay, uh, here is also one 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 other result. Uh, you know, clouser horn inequality can be changed into just one inequality, but for the modulus of th minus uh, plus one half, and then the threshold value is 0.5. And if if we have the value above this, then uh, then we have a violation of this, uh, let's say, one-sided CH inequality of, or composite CH in, inequality. So so this is the violation of the right uh, left hand side, right hand side, and this is the left hand side violation. And uh, and perhaps at this I'll, I will skip. The effect is quite robust because the, your alpha can fluctuate, and still you, you can see see the the the, uh, the violations. Also, with the diminishing 
efficiency of your detectors, the effect goes away. But not, not let's say it's not, nothing dramatically worse than in the usual situation. So with 0.9, you still have some violation. And the, but this, this is, look at this formula there. Even if we have losses, the optimal settings is the power of the local oscillator minus losses, and uh, it must be equal to the reflectivity. So this condition survives losses, and this is for us a complete puzzle. We don't understand it. it, it there must be some nice secret about foundations of quantum mechanics behind that. And let me now come back to something that I was showing to you, that there was this additional experiment of uh, um, Granger, Potasek, Yerki, in which they start the squeezed vacuum. Okay, but the 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 the, 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 uh, uh, so, the so Marek, uh, so can you no, finish within five minutes? Just, just this is this is this is one minute. Okay. okay, and and the first two first two terms of a squeezed vacuum uh, can be put like that, and so we started. Uh, what what are the optimal also in this on off paradigm of our uh, hardy paradigm of, of our um, measurements we studied uh, the, 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 the condition for optimality and look this strange condition survives so it turns out to be a, some kind of fundamental uh, property of clauser hunt inequality violations when you have optical fields and and uh, uh, weak local homodynes. And, and th this is something for the experimentalist. If you don't have, a, if you don't, do not have a, a, a photon number resolving uh, uh, detection, still you can observe this effect under this situation on off. And, and so this is a violation of, of the Hardy inequality uh, uh, when we use threshold detectors. By threshold detectors, we mean that they either there is a click on the, or, or there is no click. Okay, So it accepts also higher number uh, clicking. So as you see, uh, this is observable not only when you have uh, this, uh, 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 those um, um, of detectors that, for example, the Wormsley has uh, in, in his lab. So, as you see, this experiment is is feasible, and uh, but uh, it has to be completely differently uh, done. There are completely diff different settings, and and there is a puzzling new conditions for 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 quantum interferometry. So. These are, I hope, interesting things that on, on which I can end. Thank you, Marek. So uh, it was as usual your talks. This, this was quite stimulating, and in the end, the questions that you posed. So I'm sure there are many young researchers here who would be intrigued and would get in touch with you later also to make more inquiries. So can we have a few quick questions, please? Hello. Hello. Is the microphone on for the yeah, show? Make hello. So coordinate. Uh, so the yeah, we can hear you. On, so, huh? yeah. are, are there any questions? Please watch out, or then I shall ask. Uh, go on with my asking my questions. Okay. Sure. Come. Sure. sure. Okay. So, so Marek, so just two queries. First of all, so as I understand the upshot of your this new. The model, the new way of looking at you, you are looking at the TAN at all experiment, the left hand side of CH inequality. So that is violation can be shown even when P equal to one. That is what. Yes. The, but this is not, not the you said model. No, no, no. Uh, it's our mode of operation. But uh, yes, the mode, the mode of operation is such. Mixed. Yes. It's such that the left hand side of the CH inequality is violated even when P equal to one. That's also, also left hand side. Perhaps I will go to this uh, transparency and uh, sorry. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So this is really okay. This is a kind of uh, a synthetic uh, CH inequality, which can be put like that with the threshold of all point two. So as you see, and and so really, if you look at this inequality, then the violation is like that, mm. and yeah, okay. Mm. But the, but so, it is a function of p, and even at p equal to one, you don't. Yeah, yeah, I I have a violation. You have a violation. Yeah, yeah and this is this is here, okay. So this is this is the one. Oh. But it starts very very close, okay. The, oh. and, and but this is sharply zero, and here is a here is a violation. So that means to experimentally test the non-locality for p equal to one case, which is the single photon case. With no yeah. superposition with the vacuum state, that yes, will be so, quite so, difficult. That will be uh, difficult. No, why not? Uh, not so difficult, and perhaps we, uh, let me again yeah. click on something wrong. Uh, let me come back. Yes, because th this is uh, this here violation mm -hmm. is for this case really difficult experimentally mm -hmm. when. We can see our positive events that enter to the mm, clouser hole inequality to one photon in just exactly one photon in detector B, local detector B, and no photons in detector C. Okay, so such experiments require very good, very high detection efficiency and very good. Uh, the resolution of the number of photons, okay? Because you have to exclude the situation when two photons clicks, in D, or three photons clicked, okay? Uh, but the, on the positive side, and this is the bright side, okay, here with the threshold detector, as you see, you can be very close to P equal to one, okay? Oh, you can and be very close to P equal to yeah, one. Yeah, okay? And you have a, a, the highest, really the highest violation. Okay. 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 Uh, on the right hand side, uh, on the left hand side, that, that in insert is the left hand side, mm -hmm. and uh, the, those threshold. Uh, as you see, this uh, remember this left hand side is negative. Mm -hmm. That's why the threshold is is, is uh, the uh, clauser home threshold is minus one. Okay. Uh, this is a little uh, a little bit better. Okay. Uh, uh, and 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 it, and it might be doable. It might be doable, but uh, to have a left hand side very close to P with threshold detectors, it's much more pronounced. This peak, I see. Okay. 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 <coughs> so okay. Uh, I should have mentioned also that, um, let's say, our papers were also kind of <coughs> commenting on on on, on very. On fascinating uh, experimental pa papers by Ian Wormsley's group, they uh, and they made the single photon interference, but in the tunnel walls configuration, and also this, let's say, squeeze vacuum okay. uh, homodyne measurements <coughs> in the Granger potassium uh, uh, configuration about which I was uh, telling you. Uh, earlier, and uh, and unfortunately they use this uh, standard analysis of Tanwalls uh, uh, and Colette, and this analysis uh, was showing um, violation of certain inequality, but this was not a proper the violation. Here you are talking about in the case of strictly single photon. So the status of locality there is one may argue is different from that of Bell locality in the sense of time-like or space-like separation. So uh, sorry, I, I, could you repeat? I I'm not... saying that when you talk about non-locality of a single photon in a strict single photon regime, and here the local causality, the violation of locality, when you mean, the, it refers to time-like separation here and not space. -like. Yes, of course. Uh, that's and that's and in the mm -hmm. Bell case, it is space-like. So mm -hmm. does that make any difference to the conceptual import of your study? Ah, you you. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about in, in the realm of, of standard Bell's, 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 Bell's theorem. Mm, okay. All the talk is about, let's say, so, so I, I, when, when I address, perhaps we have, I, I did not 
everything that I talk about is in the regime of Bell's theorem. Okay, so uh, I, let's say we have a single round. So, let's say so, so, so an ensuring space-like separation. Yes, it is in principle possible between these two. Uh, so uh, let's say we, uh, we assume it's, it's Bell's theorem. Put it. Put it. Right, uh, right. Like, so everything is, is okay. Okay. the assumptions. Are, so yeah. they are very, very well separated. Mm -hmm. Laboratories, mm -hmm. but of course now as we have those famous 2015 experiments which showed that, that indeed uh, we have violation of local realism. So for other purposes, we we don't have to have uh, those uh, laboratories separate, separated because we know that quantum mechanics works as it works. In this case, and we have a, we have two violations without any additional conditions. Okay, thank you, thank you, Marek, for your clarification, and also surely. And so we look forward to having you again and in in the conferences in India. Yes, I hope okay, one day. Thank you. So, hmm? I have a question. Okay, okay, surely. So, uh, uh, how? Would the current mode of operation is different from the uh, previous, like Hardy's mode. Like, uh, uh, Hardy's mode of operation was uh, was uh, uh, n not in the weak homodyne region. Okay, not in the weak homodyne region. But that's that's the thing. So perhaps I, I, I'm showing you. Just look how his homodyne uh, local oscillator power explodes as we uh, approach the uh, this uh, true single photon regime. In our case, the uh, local oscillator has maximum uh, on average uh, one photon. And and uh, the other things that he uh, that it differs from is that uh, he was using 50-50 beam splitters and we are not using 50-50 beam splitters. Okay, in our case, the optimal beam splitters, as I told you a few minutes before, are uh, with reflectivity 0.2. Okay. okay. So they are very off, very off, and that and that this is the reason why we get it like that. And his paradox gets it like that. Okay, so as you see, it is already, let's say, in 0 0.8, it is 0 0.85 or something like that. It's you, you, you basically cannot observe the effect, whereas here it is still very robust. Okay, okay. okay. So the so settings are all like variable, like. You, yes, you we, and we, uh, the first thing that we did, we tested all the possible settings and also we used uh, modified Bell inequalities for quantum optics, which we derived in 2015 uh, 16, which are different from those which were used by Tannins and Collette. And they are proper inequalities. And, 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 uh, and this search gave us the positive impulse but showed that at least one of the, the one of the settings had to have a very very minute local oscillator almost zero okay as it is in the in the uh, numerical approximations and so the, in that moment we turned back to the Argus paper and, and we took this idea of Harvey and then we assumed that one of the local settings is off just the, the, the detector D and nothing, everything does not exist, and uh, and 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 uh, and and that was the final answer. Okay, so we have to. Thanks. Uh, we thank Marek again for this wonderful talk, and thank you very much. And. Uh,